Hey, what's up guys? Tom Spark back with another video. And today I'm going to be talking to you about BBC iPlayer. Now, BBC iPlayer is one of the coolest things about living in the UK um, because you get to watch content on their website, watch some of the most popular TV shows and stuff like that. However, a lot of people that like to travel or people that live outside the UK who want access to BBC iPlayer find that they can't access the website. The website is restricted for people who live in the UK which means that if you live outside, you're gonna get some kind of message like um, you can't watch this content or something like that. So you might be wondering, how can you fix this problem? How can you get around these restrictions to watch BBC iPlayer um, completely? The basic idea, guys, is that you're gonna to wanna to change your IP. Um, if you're not sure what IP is, basically it's like your computer's address. Think of it like um, basically what a website sees when you visit it how it sees that your computer um, connected to the internet. So if you're in um, the United States, for example, um, living in Texas, you have a Texas IP. So when you go to the BBC iPlayer website and try to watch it, it's gonna see that you're living in Texas and you don't have access to the website. So what you need to do is change that IP to have a UK IP. Um, there are a couple different ways to do this, um, some, but most of the best ways um, do require paid subscriptions. So a VPN is the best way to change your IP easily, efficiently, and very securely. Now VPNs uh, can change your IP um, basically wherever you want. If you want to connect to a UK server, if you want to connect to a US server, a Russian, China server, whatever thing like whatever server you want to pick, you could change your IP so it looks like it's coming from that location. So when you go to a website, it's actually going to think you're living somewhere else with a VPN. Now VPNs also have other uses besides, you know, accessing streaming content, like you can protect your IP um, from anyone trying to look at your IP for stuff like torrenting or if you're on the go in a public Wi-Fi cafe and you want to protect your content, protect your passwords and stuff like that from getting stolen. But anyway guys, to access BBC iPlayer you're going to need a VPN. Um, which VPNs do I recommend? Well my favorite VPN for streaming is TorGuard VPN. TorGuard VPN is unique in that it offers uh, extra add-ons like dedicated IPs, which are unique IPs sold specifically to you. Now, most other VPNs that I recommend like Private Internet Access and IP Vanish, which also have good speeds and security as well as good no logging policies, these VPNs don't offer this uh, dedicated IP add-on, so it's a little trickier to get access to some of these websites when they start blocking um, VPN users. Take for example Netflix, they really don't like people using VPNs to get around geo restrictions and access the US content library. So you're really going to need a VPN that has a dedicated IP once a VP, uh, website starts blocking IPs and proxy users. BBC iPlayer has been known to do this in the past, so if I, would, if I were you, I would recommend using TorGuard's dedicated IP system. Alright guys, so here we have BBC iPlayer, um, this is what the website looks like. Um, since I am within the US, I'm not going to be able to access BBC iPlayer. So this is pretty much from the point of view of like what you would be experiencing um, if you're traveling around or if you just want to access to this website, access to the shows on it. So you could go ahead and try to, you know, click play here. But of course, since I'm not in the UK, it's going to give me this error. Um, BBC iPlayer only works in the UK. Sorry, it's due to rights issues. So guys, we're going to show you how to get around this restriction right now. All right, guys, so this is an example I wanted to show you. So here we have BBC iPlayer again, and I have ExpressVPN loaded, connected to the UK London server. And as you can see here, if I try to watch this show, it still seems to have this error. Uh, BBC iPlayer only works in the UK. So not every VPN is going to work, but let's go ahead and try another option. All right, guys, so here we have this error like from before. So basically what happened is I connected to TorGuard VPN. So basically what happened is I connected to uh, TorGuard VPN with their dedicated IP for the UK. So dedicated IP is a unique IP uh, only assigned to one user so it shouldn't be picked up and uh, assigned to as a VPN or proxy user by some of these websites. So let's go ahead and refresh the page and see how it works. So there we go guys, refresh the page. Got that TorGuard dedicated IP working now. And um, we'll just do this and see if it works. 
Okay, we gotta figure out how to um, watch it. Uh, yeah, I have a TV watch license. Um, play without. So. There you go, guys. You can see how with the Torgar dedicated IP, you could get access to BBC iPlayer. Um, but with most other VPNs, it's not really going to work. Um, so this is one reason we're always talking about these dedicated IPs and Torgar VPN with Netflix and stuff like BBC iPlayer. It's really just the best way to get access to these uh, streaming platforms. Because I've started to, you know, kind of hunt down and get access to some of these VPN and proxy. Some kind of identification that's blocking most VPNs. So go ahead and check out the links down in the description down below, guys, if you want to check out Torgard and the dedicated IP. Now remember, you are going to have to pay a little bit extra per month for that dedicated IP. But with my coupon code, a best 10 VPN, it's actually going to be cheaper than most other VPN providers per month anyways. So that gives you 50% off. All right, guys, I decided I wanted to show you exactly how to get that dedicated IP, just in case you're wondering or you're not sure how to do it. So basically, you're going to go on Torgard's website and just click buy VPN now. From here, you can pick whatever billing cycle you want. Now, the annual and semi-annual has pretty good pricing plans. Now, keep in mind, you could use 50% off coupon code best VPN. So that'd be around $15 for six months or $30 for a year, which is really good, $5 a month. Now, you are gonna need that streaming IP, <clears throat> but you're gonna wanna pick that for the UK. So the 50% off is also gonna work with uh, this as well. So for example, let's just do the monthly for now um, in case you don't want to do a long commitment. So we're going to get one monthly package um, that's streaming IP for the UK. So basically the way this works is that you can check out and then you're going to email TorGuard um, in the support section asking for that dedicated IP. That's how you're going to get it. So we could go ahead and add to cart and check out. And then you add uh, best 10 VPN. So you can see it's going to be around $8.99 uh, monthly, which is really good, guys. So this is actually a really good deal. Um, ExpressVPN, um, they, sometimes they say they work with BBC iPlayer, but you can see that it didn't really work for me. And sometimes they work with Netflix. You're going to have to talk to the support a lot, figure out all these different IPs and stuff like that. It can get really confusing. Same thing with some of the other VPNs like NordVPN and stuff like that. TorGuard, you get this one dedicated IP. Pretty much works 100% of the time. It's unique to you. And the bottom thing is, is that this is actually cheaper than NordVPN or ExpressVPN. NordVPN and ExpressVPN are going to be around $12 a month. So guys, this is a really good deal. 100% um, guaranteed way to access BBC iPlayer abroad, Netflix, Hulu, anything you really want to access. This is going to be your one-stop shop, guys. This is why I'm always talking about this on my channel. It's just a crazy good deal. And not enough people are talking about how useful this could be. So guys, you're going to go ahead and check it out. Put all your information there. And then once you do that, you're just going to send in a, you know, an email to the support. You're going to open up a ticket like this, and then you're going to um, just talk to them and say you want that dedicated IP that you paid uh, for. And once you do that, you should be able to get it pretty quickly. All right, guys, one last thing. I'm going to show you how to input that dedicated IP into TorGuard so you can get things working. Go ahead and launch the program and install it if you haven't already. Log in with your credentials. From here, you're going to click on more settings. Then you're going to click the server tab and then you're going to enter in the IP address here that they gave you from uh, your ticket. Um, you can do, go ahead and put any comment you want here, or nickname or whatever, and then go ahead and save. So the server is going to be at the top of the list now. You just pick it and then you go from there. Just click connect. It's pretty much as simple as that, guys. Um, thanks for watching this video.